Gotcha. That's a beautiful, oh, that's what I was looking for. Hey y'all, today I'm gonna show you a quick and simple way to get on a spring crappie. It's time y'all to become a better angler. All right y'all, one of my favorite ways to spring crappie fish, we got the live minnows. I got my light pole here, it's a medium light. And that's right, we we're putting on the slip cork down to the Aberdeen hook. Live minnows, y'all. We're gonna start about two feet, go from there. So we can't find a sweet spot. There we go. Beautiful. Got it. That is a crappie. Look at that, y'all. There we go. That's why this is such a fun way to fish. Let's tighten up our drag there. Got our first one in for the day. Beautiful, beautiful crappie. Look at that. Oh yeah. Guys, you gotta do the slip bobber. That one's about two and a half feet. Slip bobber down to a live minnow. Beautiful. Let's get it back out there. Let's get another one. I think we have the right depth. Yeah. I like to start shallow, then go deeper. That's just my personal preference. Right now we're sitting about two and a half feet. I'm using a medium sized minnow right now. Kind of looking for the bigger crappie. There we go. Here we go, y'all. Gotcha. That's a beautiful, oh, that's what I was looking for. That's what we were looking for. Look at that. Look at that beautiful black crappie. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, guys, look at that one. Beautiful. That's number two on the minnow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pond fishing at its best, y'all. You can use this technique on the lake, on a creek, on a river. There's a lot of other YouTubers and professional crappie fishermen who do this technique. And it's just so much fun. It is so much fun. There we go. There's another one, y'all. Got him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that beautiful crappie, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. That is number three. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Look at that thickness. It's getting it done, y'all. It is getting it done. Let's talk about our setup that we're using today. I have a medium light rod. Use any one of your choice. You don't need the high expensive ones. This is simply a Shakespeare Ugly Stick Light Pro. Walmart, you can buy it on Amazon. You get it just about anywhere. Then I have that down to a spinning reel, a fluger, down to a slip bobber, wire hook, and a minnow. This is just the most fun way to fish for crappie. Just put it out there. Set your bobber at the right depth and just catch slabs, y'all. That's all you got to do. There we go. Got him. Oh, that is a nice crappie, y'all. Are y'all seeing this? That is a beautiful crappie. Let's get that one in. Oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful fish. Look at that beautiful fish, y'all. Absolutely beautiful. That is a nice, chunky, healthy crappie by any means anywhere they are enjoying the live minnows i'm telling you all right let's add that one to the bucket let's catch some more shall we let's catch another yep there we go got him got another one y'all beautiful look at that oh yeah Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We are catching them, y'all. We are catching them. That's a beautiful white crappie right there. Look at that one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's put that one in the bucket. Kind of haven't pinpointed, y'all. I think we we found the pattern. We kind of have where the school of crappie are. 
Now it's just simply wash, rinse, repeat until they stop biting. Yes, 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 yes. All right, that is what I am talking about, y'all. Sometimes the simplest method to catching a fish is also the best method to catching a fish. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars. You don't have to go get the electronics. You don't even need a boat. You just need to know that there's a crappie in a location and you need to know how to fish for them. And I'm showing you right here, this is the easiest way to fish for them. Their natural forage is minnows. So offer to them what they would naturally would be eating. And it's true y'all, kind of where we got those last few bites, they're right on the shade line there. So we got the mountain behind us. And I don't know if you guys can see it clear enough in the water. There's a shade line, there's the sun. And it seems as right as it comes across where they almost meet is where we're getting our bites at. All right, so the bites slow down guys. So what I'm simply gonna do is I'm going to take the bead here that is holding my slip bobber and I'm gonna slide it up six inches. I'm gonna see if they've gone deeper. All right, y'all, so we've only been out here for a few minutes and we've already put five nice ones in here. We're gonna take them out. I'll take a look at that. Absolutely beautiful. We got a combination of black and white crappie in here. I got a family obligation to head to, so I do not have time to cook these bad boys up for you. Not today. We're gonna go ahead and release them. Beautiful, look at that. This one is 12, just over 12 inches. I don't know if y'all can see that. Beautiful. Another beautiful one, look at that. Oh yeah. Beautiful. There we go. We had out of this group right here that we've caught so far, we're not done fishing, so don't, don't turn away yet. Uh, this group we've got here so far the biggest one has been 12 inches the rest were just over 11 and a quarter we're gonna get these ones back in the water all right y'all here we go let's get a few more before we have to leave no boat y'all no electronics no problem get outside put your boots to the ground and go catch you some crappie there we go got him all right y'all that is a nice fish that's a big old crappie look at that oh yeah there we go another beautiful one and it absolutely slammed it that is what i'm talking about thick healthy beautiful that's a black crappie that is what i am talking about y'all check that out beautiful Hey y'all, well I hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, fishing can be kept simple and effective, and most of all, it can be kept fun. No matter how you like to fish or what you like to fish for, get outside, go fishing, have fun. You can always become a better angler, and we'll see you on the next cast.